Hey guys, hope everything's going well. You guys know the drill. Smash the like button, subscribe if you haven't, and comment down below. Follow me on Instagram at AIH underscore sports. Now let's make it to over 100 people that follow me on Instagram. And also on YouTube, I noticed that a lot of people watch, but they don't subscribe. So subscribe to my YouTube channel. In the new year, let's try to get this over a thousand subscribers. And it's a great growth over the past year. Slow but steady. Alrighty, so let me just fix that camera a little bit. Alright, so this uh, video is going to talk about my worst decisions I made this year and the best decisions that I made this year. Okay, let's uh, look at uh, the mistakes that I made. And it's all about telling you, you know, what I did right and what I did wrong. And the reason why I'm doing this is just, you know, just transparency. All right, so this Fortnite box over here. This isn't the, um, oh yeah, this I think is the US version. So uh, this, uh, I got for 700 bucks, big mistake. It's now what, a few hundred bucks. And there's an Italian version and there's a US version. You can usually tell by the, um, the scan over here. The Italian version doesn't have that. It has a different label here. I'm not a Fortnite player, but I just saw the one of the hollow cards go for over $30,000. So I'm like, hey, over a long period of time, they should go up. The unopened boxes. Well, I, did, I bought it at the high, right? I was talking about avoid the hype. Well, I bought the hype. I made a mistake here. For most of the things, I did avoid the hype. And what I'm going to do, oh, maybe over time, I'm going to look for unopened boxes and I'm just going to buy uh, some of them to lower my cost basis. Not right now. I'll still be patient. And if people stop buying Fortnite, okay, that's the time. I mean, if you just look at these unopened items over a long period of time, they tend to hold good uh, value. And eventually, the younger guys that have more purchasing power in the coming decades, they're going to be buying this stuff, in my opinion. Could I be wrong? Oh, yeah, sure. But I'd rather buy now at a lower price. So mistake one. Mistake two, I've talked about this in numerous videos, but to highlight it again, 2003 Net Pro. I bought this, what, 700 bucks. I saw on PWCC or on eBay, people were paying $2,000. I saw in the comment section that it was the glossy. No, I saw on PWCC that it was actually this version here. I think there were two purchases. And I think on PSA, I saw people were buying this, the PSA 10, around 1900 So I thought I got a 50% haircut, but no, I didn't. Now it's, what, a little over 100 bucks, And it looks like... A decent value. I know that um, Nadal got the virus, just like many people got the virus. I got the virus last week. Uh, I'm recovering, or I, I'm pretty much recovered. Just a runny nose here and there. I mean, it's not as bad as the other variants. You know, just uh, you know, Aaron Rodgers says it best about the virus, but I'm that's a topic for a different day. And ultimately, you know, these tennis cards got hammered and it could be opportunity for flips before this whole crash. I'm not telling you to buy it, though. And uh, Djokovic, however you pronounce his name, his card, you know, went from like two over two grand to about six hundred sixty thousand. I mean, six hundred dollars. So that could be there could be some opportunities i don't think he's going to be allowed to play in australia though because of you know the mandates and he's not going to comply with it so yep uh, another one of my mistakes i sent this good old card of tom brady to csg and i sent an aaron rodgers rookie card to csg not uh, the best decision out there and the reason is is because they said it was allegedly trimmed 
I don't know if this is allegedly trimmed, but that's what they said. I may still keep this card. I still have two graded PSA 8s. They're locked in the bank. I may sell one of them before the season's over. I just have to get to the bank. And I may do that maybe tomorrow. I don't know. Maybe Friday. I have to see if the bank's going to be open at that time. And then I could sell it on my own platform or, or sell it on my own eBay. Or I could just send it off for consignment. I want to do it before the playoffs because what if Brady gets out of the playoffs right away and that card decides to tank. Or not decides to tank, but everyone decides not to buy that card. That could happen, by the way. But uh, Tom Brady should be in the top three for the MVP. We'll see who wins. Is it going to be Rodgers? The media doesn't like Rodgers, so I don't know if Rodgers is going to win the MVP. And then maybe Jonathan Taylor, but they usually don't choose running backs. I mean, there have been some running backs that have won, but it's usually QBs that win. All righty. So, yeah, those were the mistakes that I made, uh, some of the better moves that I made. Um, so I've showed this in many videos, 2013 Khabib card, Blue Refractor. I bought this raw last year. So you could say it's a move that I made this year and last year. So before PSA closed, I sent this to Express, Super Express, whatever. Paid a little over 100 bucks before all these price increases and before they started to grade hard i got a psa 10 you know this is one of my cards that i'm going to keep in my collection it's numbered too so that's what i definitely like so in my opinion this was a good move on my part grading before they got really strict and some people say no they're not strict but my experience they have been strict and that's what other youtube content creators have stated and um some of my other good moves i don't have the cards on me because i've sold them but it's just uh selling my cards into strength i would say those are my good moves so i was talking about a mahomes optic hollow psa 10 i bought a few years ago for 137 dollars and on PWCC auction, I sold it for 3800 bucks. I don't know where the price is right now. Mahomes has definitely improved his play over the past few months after that terrible game. Um, also, some of the good moves that I made, selling the Bradys. You know, I bought at a few hundred bucks and I've been gradually selling them at 1300 1400 1500 and I think what is it now? It's like what seventeen, eighteen hundred. So, yeah, I made a good return on that. Another good play was I bought a Federer card. <coughs> Excuse me. One out of two thousand, and that card I sold. I got a few hundred, few hundred bucks. I sent it to PSA Express. I think early this year again and I should have sold it when the PSA 9 was over three grand someone bought it for like 3400 bucks now it sells for about 350 360 bucks maybe 400 bucks I sold it through Probstein about maybe eleven hundred dollars I think after the expenses maybe a thousand dollars so i still made money um i still think it's a victory i spent you know all in cost with the grading buying the card on ebay like 400 some bucks sold for over a thousand dollars so that that's a good play on my end that was when the market was hot and you know we were still stuck at home with the lockdowns and everything started to change once again in February, March of this year. That's when prices slowly but steadily started to go down. And stadiums started to open back up. And I, I think right around the baseball season, people were spending more money at the games. And then shortly followed basketball, shortly followed NHL. And then later on, it was football. 
It's so weird that no one went to games last year. Maybe some of the World Series games, I believe. And they had games in Texas, I believe. Some games in California. But that that's quite interesting. Now, that's a story you could tell your grandkids one day. If you're young. And your other nieces and nephews that are really young right now. But yeah, those were uh, some of the good moves that I made this year. It's just uh, consistently selling at a profit for many of these cards. I sold many of the Bradys. I think I sold four or five of the Bradys. I sold a handful of other Tom Brady cards that I bought last year and the years before. Uh, some Aaron Rodgers cards that I bought cheaper. And yes, this year has been, you know, you could say a tale of two cities. It was the best of times, and for the flippers now, it's the worst of times. And I definitely capitalized on many times, just selling at the high for these uh, goat cards that I have. Now, yes, I did make mistakes, and I've highlighted them as well. There are some other cards that I bought earlier this year. I thought Jordan Love would be a little better than what I thought. So the jury is still out there on Jordan Love. He's still, what, a young guy. It's his second year. You don't know what Aaron Rodgers is going to do next year. Uh, but uh, we shall definitely see about that. Will Jordan Love be a backup? There are a lot of rumors that Jordan Love wasn't performing too well in practice. That's what I heard out of uh, McAfee's show, from my memory. But uh, who knows? He's buddies with Aaron Rodgers. But anyways, uh, let me know uh, what were your best moves of this year and what were your worst moves of this year. It's always quite interesting hearing from the people that watch me. And I'm sure some people definitely have regrets. Some people wish they sold some of their cards in February, in March. I wish that I sold uh, one card that I don't have anymore. I'm going to see if the consignment actually pays me this time around. But I could have sold this card for about 15 grand, and now it went down, what, 10 grand. It's crazy how nuts the market has been the past, what, year. Just imagine in a full-blown crash. So what you saw in February and March of this year to the upside, you may see something drastic to the downside, and those will be some great opportunities, in my opinion. But we shall see. Anyways, guys, smash the like button. Subscribe if you haven't. Comment down below, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks, guys. Bye.